Hi and welcome back to DevExplaining channel. Today's topic is how to do Hello World with Java 21 style and I'm mostly using this as a kind of warm-up round for the bigger Java 21 features to show you how to get set up but it should be interesting you should really watch this one so let's get started. Before we discuss the new I do need to show you briefly the old way. This was how we did Hello World in Java 1.0 in 1995 decades back but ironically it's still the way we do it. Uh, if you are using Java 11 or Java 17 or Java 20 even uh, you would be doing your main function like this. So main function is your starting place for your code. Uh, you only need to do it once. So as I mentioned this is not a huge feature. I will come uh, to the reasoning why this is in Java 21 um, a little bit later. And by the way if you have some guesses why uh, this feature was deemed valuable enough to do. Write those down right now in the comment section and kind of think about it and I will get back with an answer a little bit later. Let's see if you got it right. Anyways, here is a class definition. With Java this is something we are kind of used to always start with a class definition. We have public class all domain. In this case within the class definition uh, we have functions and this one is uh, the main function signature. So we have pub public, it's exposed for everybody. We have static, it's not instance specific, so you don't need to instantiate to be able to call it. It's void, not returning anything. A name must be main, and then you have to have the parameter list, whether you use those or not, uh, to match the profile. So this was how the main function was defined, and it needs to match the signature, because that's how the kind of runtime environment is going to call it. So if you change something it's not a proper main function and it would not work. Now uh, after all that then we are able to start something. In my case I'm just writing hello world but in uh, real applications this would be like the starting point. So you start here whatever you need to run your application whether it's a server a game whatever you need it, it would start here. So uh, we've seen this around for quite a lot. I think this has been done a few billion times uh, around the world and it hasn't been touched ever since. Let's see how we run this one. So I'm able to take this one. Bear with me, there is a reason why I'm showing you how to compile and run Java. Now with Java 11 there was a little update. So now you are able to just directly go for the source code. So you are able to say Java old main Java and use it like a scripting tool. And even though this has been around for quite some time, there is still people who don't know this one. Again, not a huge feature, but it's making it a little bit softer to, to do your first uh, bits of code or kind of to create a little dirty script with Java. It's a bit more fun. Uh, it's a shortcut for some people. Okay, so that takes me to the next topic. Uh, how do you do Hello World in Java 21? Well, uh, short answer is that you can do it the same way. Backwards compatibility guarantees that this is still okay. Of course, it's not going to be, you don't need to change it. But if you like to change it, here is the extreme version of Java 21 Hello World. So we notice a few differences. First of all, there's a lot of red. That's because my ID is not up to date yet. So therefore my ID is not recognizing these structures. This will be taken care of later, but that's what you get for cutting edge stuff. And I like to record these a little bit earlier so they would be ready for you once you get uh, interested in Java 21. So hopefully this strategy works. Anyways, I don't need a class definition here. This is a little bit like those old law series. So if you cannot afford a public class, one will be appointed for you. So anyways, I don't have any class definition here as you can see. There is still a class, spoiler warning. So Java still maintains the st same structure. But there's a little bit of magic right now going on. So you don't need to define the class, you will get it. Then uh, second thing we notice is that the signature of the function is rather short. So the full, full signature was public static void main string array of arguments. Okay. But if you don't need the arguments, then you don't need to define them. Uh, if you don't need static or if you don't want static, you don't need to. It can be instance specific. Java will handle either way. Doesn't need to be public. 
So the shortest form of the main function is what you see here. And it's rather short. There's return type, there's function definition, um, and then we have the code. That's it. So rather lightweight. As I mentioned, why are we doing it? Why, why are we removing something? Do you have a guess? Write it down in the comment section. I'll get back to that shortly. But before we go there, I will show you how to run it because there is a little bit of witchcraft needed there as well. Um, first things first, uh, how you get Java 21? Well, I have a video on my channel on SDK Man. Um, I use Java for work and my requirement is to be able to switch between different versions lightning fast. So I don't do it like some people do that they only have one Java. I have like a dozen Java versions. So some of them are wild early access versions. Sometimes I need to go back a bit. And to do that, SDK man is awesome. So you just set it up and I have the other video on setup phase. But after you have set it up, you can just do installation. So in the morning, preparing for this video, I installed latest early access release version 34. Uh, and then I said that let's use this one. And now when I say Java version, uh, that's what I get. So that's your first prerequisite. You cannot run this code without Java 21. Now, you cannot immediately run this code with Java 21 either. Let's, let's see how that goes. So if I say Java, main Java, um, the feedback I get is that unnamed classes are a preview feature and they are disabled by default. So what it's saying, uh, there is some uh, kind of background documentation on this. I will also drop the link and show you where you can find it later. However, um, this is right now in preview. So it means that you need this extra flag to enable it. Um, it's a preview feature, so most probable outcome is that the flag will be dropped in some upcoming Java release, and then you don't need it anymore. There is also a possibility that it might be changed or even dropped, but that's uh, prob not very probable because this is quite small and refined feature. So most likely the flag will not be needed. But today it is. So today I'm doing like the kind of error message is saying, and I'm including enable preview. But that's not enough because enable preview must be used with source, you have to tell which version of Java you want to be running. And after all that, that's the trick to be able to run it. That's the witchcraft I mentioned. So right now you need to do this dance, but in the future the extra flags will drop and then you just do it like the early, early good old days. And by the way, if you like to compile, of course you can compile using the same flags and then if you want to run that compiled version of main, um, you do need to enable preview, but you don't need the source flag anymore. Yeah. So that's kind of uh, the trickery for this one. I'm going to put the kind of my, this is my notebook on what I uh, need to remember when going through this. And I'm just leaving it for the screen for a bit. If you like to take a screen uh, capture, or just post, post the video so you can kind of see the witchcraft here, uh, feel free to do so. Anyways, I think that covers the basic part of this video. I wanted to briefly show you the evolution of Hello World uh, from the old way to the new way and uh, show you what you need to be able to run it. But next topic and last topic of this video, I'm going to explain to you, show you where you can find the details uh, where you can find a little bit more reading for yourself and uh, the reasoning why we got this feature. So all that coming up. But if you already saw enough, feel free to leave. Just remember the thumbs up, uh, any any kind of uh, graceful thanks uh, below the, in the comment section and subscribing to my channel if you like this kind of stuff. But for the rest of you, let's open JDK21 documentation. So uh, here is OpenJDK page, and this one, uh, the, the link here also is going to be in, in the description section of my video for you to read. I would highly recommend you read this on your own time. So reserve 15 minutes and just read this, and you will get a little bit more, more information than any talking head in the YouTube channel is going to give you. But a few points here. Well, 
Uh, right now, doing this video, we are in ramp down phase two and the uh, overall feature set is frozen. That's why I'm daring to do this video right now. So no further jeps going to be coming up. They are just kind of refining the final things and general availability to be expected in September uh, 2023. So that's when we get Java 21 version. And here is the feature set. And if you have been watching my channel, if you're a subscriber, or have seen my earlier videos, many of these might already be familiar for you, because these are not uh, something that just came out of the thin air for Java 21. Many of these have been around for multiple versions, and I have a lot of Java 20 uh, in-depth videos on these, but I hope to do a little bit more on the most interesting features of Java 21 on my channel. Um, because some of these have been refined and changed, you can see third preview that implies that uh, it's not uh, probably uh, something that, that is the same when it first uh, appeared. So it's going to be something that has been refined and changed a little bit. So I'm going to update some of these and do more videos. However, today's stuff was about JEP uh, 445 here. So the feature that you saw in action was called unnamed classes and instance main methods and that's pretty much what it is about so we are able to define the function without uh, defining the class and you are able to uh, not to do a static main method you are able to do instance main method and then there is a few more kind of refined features included and uh, within this documentation is a few more tricks i didn't even show but they are kind of minor things so i'm leaving that for your experimentation but I wanted to mention a few things here. So one, uh, you had probably a guess why this uh, change was made. Why, why did people spend time refining Hello World while Hello World is not that difficult? Well, it's not difficult for you, but I worked as a trainer for a long time. So I was teaching people to code Java from scratch. And uh, it, it's not always extremely easy to do that. It can be quite difficult because the first thing you do in the very first class when people might not have any programming experience, they're just start starting out. You're saying like, okay, we want to print out something, write this stuff. And then immediately you get questions from people who are proactive. So they're like, what, what does it mean? What's a public class? Why do I need to do that? What can I change here so that it would still work? And what's this function here? So, Curiosity is awesome, and over time all these questions will be extremely important. But in many other programming languages, uh, the kind of getting started curve is much easier, smoother. Like Python, you only need one line. You say print, here is the stuff I want to print. And then you go from there, and then you add layers and complexity on top of that. With Java, you immediately have to dive in kind of a deep end, and this is typically a shock that takes at least day or two for many people to kind of over, overcome. The, the, somehow it's a little bit difficult to get that there is not so much to get, so everything will be explained in time. But at least I, for education, embrace this one. Any Java simplifications that make it a little bit easier. And there's been a few of those, being able to run Java without immediately compiling it, and being able to use this improved main function then we have the J shell. All those will be awesome tools for educators. So that's the kind of reasoning. Uh, if you are an old veteran of Java, this is not really for you. You will still see, th see this because the new hotshots coming from the school will be coding in this style. And some of the old uh, hipsters who have been using Java for a long time, they just want to do things a little bit differently. Uh, so, so people will ask questions. <laughs> I'm one of those, so I will be sneaking these just to get that uh, WTF uh, question mark uh, on people reviewing the code. <laughs> Sorry, I'm evil like that. But anyways, just be prepared to be seeing both the old way and the new way, and then we have the intermediate ways. So it's entirely valid, as I mentioned, to kind of not go all the way. If you like the class wrapper, sure, go for it with the class wrapper. You can still do the function profile a little bit differently or vice versa. Then final thing I wanted to show from this documentation that you really should read. Uh, there is a little bit of ref refinement 
but I wanted to also show that there is a little bit more you can do within the same class, uh, the same unnamed class. So it's possible to kind of define uh, utility functions and define utility fields uh, that I didn't show, but you can see them here. Just trust me, they will work, okay? I think uh, that wraps up what I wanted to discuss about this feature. And as I mentioned, uh, more stuff coming up in upcoming videos. I think it's about time to kind of enjoy all these features and try to share these because I like to be up to date with Java, even though I might be using Java 17 now for a project, it will one day uh, be converted to Java 21 uh, sooner or later, de depending in my projects, typically sooner, because that's a way to guarantee security updates quite nicely. And I like new features. It's fun to kind of uh, do things in, in more efficient ways. So uh, you will kind of evolve into all these. So it's, I think it's always good to start learning, even if you don't expect to be using these right now. But one day somebody will say that, um, mm, should we swap to Java 21? What benefits would we get from there? And now you know at least one, <laughs> not a big one, but we'll get there. More to come up. So. As always, if you like the content on my channel, thumbs up is a good way to show it. Uh, comments in the description section are awesome way to show it. Questions always welcome. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you like the content here. This is a friendly place. There is at this point about 3000 other followers who are interested in this kind of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the content. See you in the next one. Bye bye.